Welcome. We're going to talk a little bit about multimeters and their use in Science Olympiad today. A multimeter is a very useful electronic tool for measuring several different uh, aspects of, of electric circuits. You can measure voltage, uh, uh, typically in volts. You can measure current in amperes, resistance in ohms, and there are other things as well that are a little less common. Uh, this is especially important for the event wind power where a voltmeter is required to measure a voltage, uh, but they may also be useful in, in some other events as well. Uh, so, so how do you choose a multimeter? Um, there are several different features to look for. I, I mean, first of all, it's important to note that that uh, there, there are many different brands, many different models, and most of them are perfectly good for most uses, but, but there are a few uh, particularly useful features to look for. Electronic multimeters are very, very common today, uh, and, they're, and they're much easier to read than the older analog uh, multimeters. Um, there's a feature called auto-ranging, which, um, the, the, the multimeter will automatically choose the particular range in which to measure the current um, uh, value. And, and this is very handy for avoiding having to do lots of adjusting of the, of the multimeter as you're using it. And, and then finally, there's a feature called max min hold, which um, puts the multimeter in a mode where it remembers the maximum and minimum values that it's seen over a period of time. Uh, and this is helpful so that you don't have to be constantly monitoring a display that's very quickly jumping around and trying to memorize which what, what are the minimum and maximum values that you've seen. Uh, and then finally, there's a useful accessory to, to uh, buy for a multimeter, and a multimeter will always come with a pair of leads, um, but it's quite useful to buy a second pair of leads that are clip-on, like the, the ones pictured here. Um, and, and this is so that you can, in certain circumstances, you can clip the leads onto uh, points in your circuit so that you don't have to hold them uh, uh, manually for a long period of time. You can just clip them on and let go, and it's it's much more convenient in certain circumstances. Um, so once you've chosen a multimeter, um, there, there's a few things to know about setting it up for use. The first thing you have to do is plug in the leads, and um, there's, there's almost always two leads, a black one and a red one, um, and the black one always goes into uh, a hole marked uh, common or com or sometimes ground where it has that little ground symbol. And on this particular multimeter, that's this, uh, this uh, socket right here uh, labeled com. Um, and then the red lead, depending on what you're measuring, the red lead goes in different holes, but there's one hole that uh, that you'll want for measuring voltage, and that's this one to the right here that that uh, is marked with a V. Um, and typically, that hole, it's the most common one you'll use for the red lead, and it has several other settings as well, V for voltage, but it'll have the uh, the ohm setting and um, and and this funny symbol for capacitance and hertz and various things but just look for the V for voltage. Um, and, and then once you've plugged in your, your leads, you need to set the dial. And uh, again, you're, you're gonna wanna turn the, the dial to the V setting. And once again, it has several symbols associated with it here for measuring other things, but, uh, but the V for voltage is the one that we're concerned with today. Um, some meters have two voltage settings, one for alternating current and one for direct current, and you'll want the, uh, the DC or direct current setting. Um, this particular meter 
auto senses AC versus DC, and so there's only the one setting. Um, sometimes uh, it, it is useful to measure resistance, um, and then on this meter, that would that would be this second setting up here with the ohm symbol, the, the Greek omega, and in if you were measuring that, you would you would leave the red lead in the same hole or both leads in the same hole actually. Uh, but again, we're, we're primarily talking about measuring voltage today. Um, the auto range feature that I mentioned earlier uh, is something that um, it's easy to use, but, but there's a couple things to know about it. Um, usually the, the voltmeter, when you turn it on, it comes up in auto range mode by default. And you can see um, underneath the big numbers here, it says auto range. So you can see that that mode is on. Um, when it's in auto range mode, it switches units uh, automatically for you. So you can see here, this is 348.4, but what? Well, millivolts. That's this little MV up here in the corner is millivolts. Um, but you have to be very careful to, whenever you read this, always look at the units. Don't just look at them the first time. You have to look at them on every reading because, for instance, if this measured 1.1 volts, say, and then it would just say V, um, and then the potential went down, it might change to 800 millivolts, and then this would say 800 MV. That's what the auto range does. It switches between volts and millivolts and so on automatically. But, but in this case, you're going to see a much bigger number, but it's actually a smaller value because it's in smaller units. And then earlier I mentioned the uh, the, the min-max hold uh, feature, and this one's um, uh, a little bit more specific to the particular model of, of uh, voltmeter that you've got. So you're going to want to look at your instructions to really understand how to use it. But on this, on this meter, which is fairly typical, um, you press this yellow button here to enter hold mode. Um, and then you're going to make some measurements, um, and then you're going to turn off the hold mode by pressing the yellow button again. And then once you're out of hold mode, you can press this max min button. You press it once, and it'll show you the maximum voltage recorded during the time that the hold mode was on. You press it again, it'll show you the min voltage during that time. And then if you hold it down, it will exit the max min mode and, and just go back to measuring the current voltage. Um, now, one thing that's a little tricky about this uh, feature is that to read the true maximum, you, you actually need to look at both the min and the max, take their absolute values, and use the larger of those two. And that's important because voltages can be negative, so then the 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 sort of biggest magnitude voltage will actually be the minimum because it's negative. So thanks for joining us. Um, uh, please uh, check out our website there for other uh, resources and videos and, uh, and be sure to check out all of our other social media.